let's look at the four new 2020 career dolls from Barbie coming up after this. Okay, I actually already looked at these three in a video, but I just found the boxer, so I want to review her too. I actually found her in the States. You can get her on Amazon in Canada, but I did not, because she's more money there. And in the States, she was seven something at Walmart, which is a great price. There were four new ones added to the mix. Do I have all those? Oh yeah, they mixed it in with the boys. This actually is the very first mini boy. Well, the what do they call them? The slim boys in the career line. Because normally they give them the regular body. This guy in the last video, I couldn't remember where he was. But I actually have so many of him in the regular body. Sweet Orchard Farm. He was a fireman. The list goes on. I don't know if the list goes on. It might just be those two. She is very beautiful. They all are. I also have a question about her. She looks very similar to a little kitty cat girl in red fashionista. Did she have the Christy face too? This is such a great face sculpt. I really like it. I believe it's Christy, the darkest complected girl from the 80s or 90s. Anyway, I do have one that's awesome that has, my, one of my favorite have that, one of my favorite dolls has that head sculpt. 2,000, oh, 200 plus careers Barbie has had in her lifetime. And in we get these boxes where there's no fasteners. I love that. I don't know why they haven't taken that over to the fashionistas. With these career dolls, we get so many extra accessories. I don't have that nurse. I think that might be the only career one I don't have. Maybe I don't have the soccer player, too. Yeah, so many accessories. Really cool backdrop there. She's actually in the ring because she is a boxer. It says boxer. Unboxed her. And this is what she's wearing. Should I put these on new heads or on new bodies? I already have him on a regular body, but I really like her head sculpt. I really like her head sculpt. I think mine has extra tiny eyes, but it makes her look unique. It's been hard to find really good eyes, but you know what? There are some older dolls that I found recently, and it seems that the eye placement has been a problem for a long, long time because these dolls are from the 80s or 90s, and the eyes are really not aligned well. She comes with boxing gloves. She comes with a beautiful updo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she has to be rebodied. Uh, so then, am I going to do a third career video? I keep taking segues on this. She's got a little tank top. She's got on these very shiny boxing shorts, which are really cool. I wonder if they could fit on one of my Kens. I wonder if the waist is long enough. Now this is the regular body and it's flat footed and she's got on these very unusual sneakers. I guess they do look like boxing sneakers. Boxing boots. And we haven't had an athletic top like this before. Velcroed in the back. Standard body, one bent elbow. This would have been really awesome had it not had, or more versatile, had it not had the Barbie logo on it. The WWE Rebody Girls will definitely look great in this athletic gear, though, I have to say. The muscles will look nice. Uh, elastic waisted pants. It's a very thin material. And it's also labeled with Barbie on the waist. But it's done really well. I like the writing. And the gloves probably won't fit on the WWE, but that's really cool. Oh, 
Do you think this is the first time we've seen these gloves? I'm going to try them on him. That would be really cool. He comes with this toothbrush and toothpaste. And his thumbs are a bit big for those thumb holders. No, there's, he's not getting his hand in here. This is girl-only gloves. Maybe. I don't want to, like, bend his thumb up or anything. I don't know if they can totally go on him. Pink boxing gloves. You can kind of slide his thumb in. And then except I guess he would have the same size hands as a regular Ken. He has the same size feet. He takes the same size shoes. Oh yeah, I definitely have to like He's a one a onesie. His shirt and pants are attached. I really wish they hadn't have done that. See if we can make this look like his boxing gear. Oh yeah, cool. That's nice that those are versatile. What do her feet look like? Her feet look ridiculously small, as always. Very, very beautiful doll. I love the updo. The hair doesn't get in the way. That's one of my biggest beefs with Barbie. <laughs> Collecting Barbie. I know that a lot of people like the hair play. Not this guy just gets in the way. Love her face. She's beautiful. Nice. All right, let me give you an overview of this one again. So we get this girl. They put an extra elastic on her hair. She's got that one in her head. They get this tennis racket with a peg and hole on the ball, which is kind of cool, cool and cute that they did that. Little pink sneakers. The racket doesn't stay in her hand very well, unfortunately. There is a new Ken fashion pack out that I believe has the same colored racket. That's another video I can do together because I do have some matching Barbie and Ken outfits that definitely go well together that I want to show together too as well. Yeah, I really like her unique face. This actually, isn't this the classic Teresa face? They've been bringing out the older doll heads recently. 1990, it says. So I guess it can't be too old. What's on this one? This one is 19 or 2018. So this is a new head. And then this one that I'm calling Christy, which I really like this doll because I like the dress on it. And it is so old that I can't see the date on it. I might say 60. for this one. I can't get her to hold her puppy with or her kitty without suffocating it, unfortunately. She does have a bent arm, probably for that purpose. I love that she came with a black stethoscope. Ken can use that. Sometimes they come out pink. I got a hole in this jacket, so I do want to... It came with a hole in it. So I'm going to sew it up, I think, or try to. The seam is undone right here, which isn't cool. But I do like this little kitty dress. It's really cute. I love when they come with little dresses. It's really sad that this guy oh, came with attached pants and shirt. I wonder why they did that. That's It can't be that much more cost just to put elastic waist in those pants. I guess they saved on elastic or Velcro by doing that. I don't know if he's the right candidate to be a boxer, but he's who we have right now. And he doesn't have any pants on. Let's, since I'm, you know, here, I may as well try 
her shorts on him and make him a complete boxer. If they're going to fit on any Ken, it's going to be this one. It's a shame they made the boxing gloves pink. That makes them less versatile. Recently, I've noticed that Barbie has taken back the pink, taken or stepped back from the pink, and made things more realistic colors, kind of like the stethoscope here. And I definitely prefer that. <laughs> I'm not convinced, but I mean, he, he could be an MMA fighter from another country. You know, it's the wiry ones that you have to look out for. Cool. Yeah, it's better that he's barefoot too, I think. And can she put on his onesie? Sports bra. The height difference. I guess, yeah. I guess Ken and Barbie, petite Ken's stuff can fit on Barbie. Oh, wait, we don't say petite. We say slim. And we don't say curvy, we say broad. They did really well with the naming of them. I am a original body fan myself. I prefer the original body. And of course the Superman, Batman mold, which I do have that in an upcoming video where I will be rebodying some, I don't know which characters I'll be using their heads on, but that is a video coming up where I am going to turn those two bodies and remove their hands. So if you want to see how to remove the hands on Superman and Batman, stay tuned for that. And I think she looks great in this business casual outfit. Kind of looks like a nurse. But that fits on her pretty well, too. Beautiful eyes, beautiful eyebrows. Let me know which one of these career dolls are your favorite. Maybe it's the new MMA Ken. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Love you guys. We'll see you next time. Yeah, I think I'm going to have a whole other video where I put these heads on WWE bodies because I definitely have skin matches. They're probably all the same skin match, to tell you the truth. But these are three really amazing heads. They're beauties, for sure. Yeah, I think they are all the same skin complexion.